Hi everybody. Some of my recent projects would benefit from the capability of burning my own EEPROMs. So I did some shopping and over the weekend I picked up a EEPROM programmer from someone on OfferUp. Got a pretty good deal on it and um, I wasn't too sure if I was going to be able to figure it out. It's pretty old and uh, several times while I was working on it I wasn't sure if I was smelling burning electronics or not but uh, I did open it up and all the caps look okay so fingers crossed but um, it does power on and uh, it goes through a little self-test um, <laughs> the manual was written in French or the only manual I could find for it was written in French and uh, so I used Google Translate to translate enough of it to figure out how this thing works and it's not really all that complicated um, uh, one of the things I'll talk about in just a minute we'll get the computer going here and um, I was able to transfer back and forth between the, the programmer uh, I built a very temporary RS-232 cable and I'm waiting for some parts to come in to build a proper cable but it uh, does it does work for now and uh, so the first thing that uh, you saw is it finished the self-test and I've got an EEPROM here that's already been programmed and we can put that in the socket and put the lever down and then let's go ahead and uh, just hit enter and now it's asking us what kind of memory this is and I don't remember what the code is on this one so we're just gonna have to look it up it's a Fujitsu and it's a 27 C64 so there it is and now it's told me to insert the device and now it has read the contents of this EEPROM into memory and um, has provided us with a checksum here that we can use for comparing future programming operations um, we can see what's written on the EEPROM if we go to the edit mode you can see some of the other options there and we just want to go to data edit and we'll start at address 0 and then we can see that has a C3 and then 0000, so this is a test EEPROM for a Z80 project I'm working on and as the Z80 aficionados will recognize the C3 as a jump instruction so this is just a jump to 00, zero and uh, basically puts the processor in a tight little loop uh, I don't have the memory board yet to test that. That's uh, I'm also waiting for some parts on, but that was one of the reasons I needed this programmer to be able to program the EEPROMs for that particular project. Um, I've got a whole tube full of these 27C64s, so I figured, heck, I might as well use them. So um, we're going to go ahead and um, demonstrate the computer portion now. Um, I'll reposition the camera, and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So you may not be able to read the display on the programmer, but I've selected the RS-232 port option, and then we're going to choose the upload option, and then it's asking which file format, and uh, we'll just go with that one. We're gonna start at zero and go to one FFF, offset zero, and now you can see on the terminal it's uh, sending the contents of the internal memory to the display. I've also um, created a small hex file here and I, I won't uh, bore you with it but I have successfully uploaded this hex file into the programmer. As a matter of fact that's the one that I used to program the master that I demonstrated earlier. Okay, well that's going to do it. I'm very excited to have this. It's going to be so handy for so many projects. Please give this a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content. And as always, thanks for watching.